So this is going to be a Scorpio Sun Moon and as well rising weekly tarot reading January 20th to 26th, 2020. And a uh, few things about uh, the video now. Uh, the first one, it's the most trivial one. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and uh, you're going to find a link to my website. The other thing is that this video is going to be a bit of an experience Experiment, let's say it is because those who knows me they know that I read in a um, Sprites, but this time around I decided to do something different something that I do seldom or that I seldom do and that is reading in string what that what this means is that I'm gonna just draw seven cards no specific positions whatever they say they say so as you have all asked for just the general readings it doesn't get any general than that, all right? It just, it doesn't. So, let me finish the shuffle here and we are set to go. All right, so Scorpio, our first card that we do have it is the moon and it's not of a, a very good start here. Why? Now the moon card, it is kind of like a, a very heavy on our emotions and especially those kind of emotions that we are having toward enterprises or people we are not feeling very secure at. Uh, for example, uh, uh, you may kind of like uh, when, uh, go into panic mode about losing our businesses. We may go into panic mode into is this thing going to happen or not. We may go into panic mode as well. Where my life is going to and this kind of stuff. That's quite usual with uh, the moon card. We are going to be more prone to uh, succumb ourselves into kind of like uh, foolish dreams and um, to believe in the doom and gloom and, and that we're losing control, you know, and that nothing good is happening into our life. But that is just in front of the curtain here. Now, behind the curtain, a, a circumstances are forming and actually with the moon card, Scorpio, uh, this week is going to set us off a, a path. And that is the path that uh, we have to walk into. So we learn the very least a, a very, very important lesson into our life. So uh, whatever happens to us throughout the week, uh, that will be a quite of a, a big deal. It may not appear as that, you know, it could be something small, okay, but it can grow very, very fast from there. So pay attention or we should pay attention into everything that is happening around us but we should not intervene with it or we should not struggle against it all right because once again things that are taking place throughout this week january 20th to 26th are very important they're going to play a big and vital role for our future now next one uh is going to be the strength card and that is about our perseverance through patience quite of a, a custom card to the moon one and uh, it kind of only speaks that um, even though we may go into panic mode uh, it doesn't look like that people are going to know about it what I mean is that we're going to do a, a goddamn good job of hiding it all right and uh, on top of that the moon has a uh, not the moon but excuse me but the strength card has some very positive traits some very positive qualities that we are going to show in front of the world if you will first of all it is that we're going to give an impression here that we are very in tune with what we're doing and where we're going to even though inwardly we're going to be not exactly sure what is going on around uh, additionally to that the strength here points that we are going to burst with enthusiasm more than usual toward our career or toward our relationship but this card guys it muffles the panic mode that could appear into this uh, into the uh, moon card because for one or another reason uh, we are going to adopt throughout the week this standpoint that everything happens for a reason so at the end of the day we're just gonna let it go and whatever happens happens and the more we do so the more we will see that truly everything happens for a reason and at the end of the day if we are meant to be somewhere we are going to be if we are meant to be happy we are going to be if we are meant to be successful we are going to be 
regardless what's going on around us it's just we need to have a trust into the universe so next one uh is going to be the eight of wands and that card points to the dynamic of the week and how fast things are going to develop how many things how many circumstances just like i said into the moon card are gonna revolve around us Important thing about the Eight of Wands, uh, especially in this narrative here that we do have, it is being wide open minded. Do not take, or we should not take, in fact, any risks whatsoever, especially if those risks involve uh, actions that will produce results by a, a long shot. It is most like, it is, it is almost like shooting in the dark, hoping that we are going to hit our goal. That should not be our standpoint. As a matter of fact, we should be as quiet as possible and as stand still as possible until at least the circumstances of the moon card here form as uh, visible enough, if you will, so we know what it is going on around us. This card refers, the Eight of Wands refers to the panic mode and the risks we are taking under this panic mode and the risks are big. For some of us, maybe losing everything we got, all right? So no risks whatsoever throughout the week. Instead, clinch to the our perseverance, the capability to persevere through our patience. Uh, next one. That will be the Ace of Cups. And maybe the topic is related about love. Who knows? I mean, it could be for me, in fact, since, you know, I don't love anybody around now, right now. So, um, yeah, that may be the thing that we are feeling insecure about. Maybe, um, how can I point it? Um, maybe, uh, what was I about to say here? I just, the sentence just jumped off my mind, you know? Uh, maybe our uh, emotions are going to be reshuffled a little bit. You know, maybe we're going to, for those who, who are not in love, maybe they're going to fall in love. Or for those who are in love, uh, they're going to find a bigger value in love. Now, uh, the Ace of Cups is about the love of life itself. And it does only point that whatever happens, we are going to love the fact that it is happening. We're just not going to like the circumstances around it, which is at two different things. And... Uh, you know, people may feel insecure about the love that they are experiencing. Is it going to happen or not? You know, is this person loves me or not as well? Uh, is this person going to be with me unconditionally or not? These kind of like a baffling questions is what we're going to have into our minds uh, when we are initiating a new beginning. Because with the Ace of Wands, it is about a new beginning in some form. Uh, what I mean is that when that thing takes place, uh, many problems we have right now, many questions about our future that we do have right now are going to disappear because they're going to be completely irrelevant anymore. But another, uh, a new ones are going to take their place for the distant future that is. While uh, that may be the case right now, like said, perseverance, perseverance through patience. The more we wait, the more we are going to know. And why are we waiting? Why we just don't enjoy the good time we have, right? Because this is what the Ace of Cups is all about. Transcending our daily reality into something we are going to love to do or to be with, right? So if that's uh, the case with us, well, that is going to be the case with us. But what that thing is going to be it could be new love or it could be an awesome job we're gonna love all right or it could be an enterprise we're gonna love whatever it is whatever we love we gotta do it okay that appears throughout this week so the fifth one for us guys that will be the page of pentacles and that clean more and more about love all right because uh, the page of pentacles especially with the ace of cups i had that uh, combo for another star sign as well it kind of speaks for love really i mean romantic one it is because page of pentacles especially next to the ace of cups it's about a a person we know that has more than just a friendship kind of like emotions toward us because the page it's devotion i mean it's a person devoted to whom well, it is your reading, so it is towards you. I mean, that person is devoted to you. How? Well, Ace of Cups kind of speaks for itself, right? And now the moon card that takes place here maybe speaks about impossible love, right? It's kind of like you love each other, but how you're going to be together, you have no idea yet. But hopefully, as you wait long enough, that answer is going to become obvious. But you are for sure kind of like you both can agree that if you try to do it right now it is going to fall apart because 
going together right now can happen only by a long shot. It's literal translation up until this point. Now you need to know about the Page of Pentacles, though Scorpio, that you have to be very patient with them. Maybe that is why the string card come around beforehand, because the page, they're very slow and also quite hesitant. I mean, they very well know what they want. The problem is, is that thing want them? Is that is that thing wanting them as well? Okay, and I, and another problem with them is, is that they want to be meticulous. They want to be thorough with everything to a point where it's oh, it is aggravates and it irritates everybody around. And you gotta be patient with them because they are capable of quite of a deep emotions. Okay, and you can hurt them gravely here emotionally wise. I mean. So uh, next one uh, for us, Scorpio, which is going to be the sixth card, that will be the lovers. And what do you know? I, it's just, well, we can now, uh, just let me draw the other one. Uh, it's the king of wands. So yeah, well, it's uh, officially, I could say that that is about, um, it is about love, guys. It's just, there is no other way to, to, to look at it here with the lover's card. I would have said it is about choice if we do had another cards, all right? But the lover's kind of points to the differences in between you and the page of, uh, and the page of pentacles. The differences that seemingly difference that have to drift you apart actually they make you interested interest more and more interested into one another and believe it or not uh, the true love at least according to tarot it's exactly that so you can become one whole instead of being duplicates of one another it's that's the true love not being duplicate but being whole so what you are your future partner isn't and what your future partner is you aren't so you can learn from one another and you can contribute for one another otherwise it is just a duplication and it's just not true love all right at least according to the tarot creed uh, now lover's card points that uh, or kind of with the lover's card these kind of relationships they happen very very difficult uh, difficultly or difficult and uh, very seldom. Why? It is because people usually get afraid of being with someone that it is so different than them, all right? However, uh, with the lover's card, um, the lover's all, always kind of like urges you to try it out when you find these perfectly matching differences. Again, perfectly matching differences, like the Ian and Yan there, perfectly matching opposites. Opposites were the words, was the word that I was searching for. So you do have perfectly op op uh, uh, perfectly matching opposites. And when they collide, they become one whole. So there is not much of a choice here that you have to do to just go by it, I would say. Now the lovers as well points that uh, many, once again, in a contribution to the Ace of Cups, many problems that you may experience up until now, they will simply become irrelevant or they are going to solve themselves on their own accord. Additionally to that, in a more practical level, the lovers card, it is a about a harmonious relationships, not just lover, well, no, lover, love relationships, but also about friendships and co work coexistence with the co-workers but when we come back to the topic of love here the last card it is the ace uh not the ace the king of uh, wands and the king of wands plays the role as a person who feeds up your ambition or in other words urges you dares you in that fact to try it out it is because the king of wands especially it's someone that likes challenges and that is a a challenge for you to combine the perfectly matching opposites because everybody in this world they want someone alike right or at least the majority of us want something alike uh someone that shares same interests someone that has same social status someone that is just you know a a mirror of ourselves well that's not the case here okay you uh, just let me show you the lovers you are completely different even in a spiritual level because the the um Oh my God, the, the summit, it is exactly what it points, the spiritual barrier in between you two. And yet you are bound by the divine. It's just, and that's the funny thing about the lover's card, Scorpio. Just one second to regain 
uh, control over my camera. So that's the funny thing about Lover's Car. You can't explain that attraction, all right? It's just, it's something that it's not supposed to be there and yet it is there. So it kind of doesn't make sense, does it? But it is there and you cannot destroy what you cannot make sense of what you do not understand unfortunately we humans with our pity souls we do fear what we cannot understand and that should not be the case with us this time around so that being said, Scorpio, it's uh, quite sort of an intense one for what it seems. I am pretty much looking forward to see how it's going to turn out for me. I kind of doubt that this will be about love, uh, most likely about career with me, okay? But in the, for the majority of you, it's going to be about the love with the, the uh, lover's card. Um, we're going to see, uh, you know, uh, you, you never know, maybe tomorrow I'm going to fall in love, who knows. But um, that being said, you should also look forward to this exhilarating, cir not circumstances, but points where something happens that make you love your life even more, because this is what we're going to have. And uh, yeah, guys, just let me know down into the comments below, do you like this way of reading? Um, if not, I'm going to go back to the, um, if the collective that is doesn't like it, I'm going to go back to the spread reading. If you do, even though, uh, to be fair, I don't like it much, I will keep on doing it because it is not about what I like, it is about what you like, guys. And once again, if you want a personal reading with me, you can schedule such down into the description down below. What I mean is that you can find the link to my website down into the description below. And um, hopefully we're going to see each other around now. Until then, bye.